Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to the Jenkins Weekly Infrastructure Team Meeting. Today we are the 5th of March 2024, not 23. Damien, what are you doing? Um, around the virtual table, we have myself, Damien Duportal, Hervé Lemeur, uh, Mark Waite is off, Stéphane Merle, Bruno Verton, and Kevin Martins are here. Did I miss some, anyone? Nope, okay. Let's get started with announcement. Uh, the weekly release 2.448. Um, so the packaging part is okay. Uh, but um, we had word behavior. The agent uh, was locked. So the first time we lost contact with the agent during the mirror synchronization phase. And the second build was in a weird state, no error message, but it was locked. Nothing happened on the remote machine. However, uh, everything was already mirrored. So I've run the step manually directly on the PKG machine and everything is green, but that's weird. I've added the, the steps uh, on the Jenkins slash release uh, guitar channel in the thread. If that happened again when I'm not here. So the information is shared. It's one script to run as mirror brain on the machine. Um, Docker image is okay. It's published, so no problem. Uh, Kevin, do you have an update on the changelog? Uh, yeah, changelog has been uh, merged and is uh, published right now. It's available on the site. Cool, thanks. Published. Okay, um, something else on that release? Nope, okay, so that means we are ready to roll, Stefan, for the update of InfraCI. Uh, next week, um, I won't be available. I don't remember if we chose to maintain or uh, cancel the weekly meeting, but uh, I will need someone to take care of it if we maintain the, the meeting. Have I been cut or is there an issue? No, no. Okay. Everything's fine. So we I need manage. a volunteer to, to run it. Oh, you need it now. We we uh, volunteer with uh, Hervé. <laughs> <laughs> uh, F next week. Uh, let's, I can't remember why, okay. Uh, I have an issue with the milestone. Um, let's have someone replace him. I will let you manage, folk. Try to think about this at least Monday, just uh, in time to get the proper uh, permission. Um, mm -hmm. uh, do you have other announcement, folks? Nope, okay. So let's roll with the upcoming calendar. So, so 2.449 will be issued next week, will be the 13. I don't remember when is the next LTS plan for. Let me check last meeting notes. So meeting notes from two weeks ago. Okay, we had an LTS since last time, yes. March 20th. Uh, 20, the 20? governance meeting uh, from yesterday. Thanks. Do, do you know the version? Uh, 2.440.2. And you say 20? Uh, 20 March, yes. That's a Tuesday, no? I'm reading the government. No, no. Uh, uh, Tuesday, no, no, the twenty of March. It's Wednesday. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, my bad. I took the twenty was a, a Tuesday. That's why. Okay, thanks. And and okay. Trumor is the release candidate for that version. Thanks, folks. Um, cool. Uh, we have an announcement. 
for a plugin security advisory tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken, the 6th of March. Tomorrow. So please don't break trusted CI in either PKG. Don't do anything on this machine uh, until the system is uh, is ready to roll. Uh, that will let uh, a full day for Hervé to make his uh, vagrant to work because that's a nightmare. Um, not by his fault, but because that product is a nightmare. And next major event will be uh, uh, the the conference in uh, uh, the Scalix in California. I believe at least Mark, Basil, and uh, Alisa, Alisa will be there. Yeah. yeah. Let me copy and pass from last week as well. 17 to 19 of March. So if you want to meet Jenkins contributor, that will be the perfect place. Is there something else, an announcement upcoming calendar? No. Nope. Oh, okay. Sorry. I think I heard something. Okay, so let's continue then. Uh, let's have a check on the tasks that were done during the past milestone. Um, Hervé, I might need your help from time to time. Uh, a delete Jira bot issue and delete users. That was fun. Okay, yeah. cool. Uh, improve okay. robustness of the CD tool chain. So in the incremental uh, team, Jacob has added uh, uh, some code to avoid failing the job uh, when we encounter a uh, uh, 503 error from GitHub API. And uh, 403 error too. So it's more robust now. It okay. might also result in some credential not uh, stored in Jenkins CI organization repository if the build uh, failed with C3 uh, tentative for each um, repository. So we might have some or one uh, error reported in the desk, but less than now. Okay, thanks. So GitHub CD process failed it with 401 and really right. so, Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so Alexander Brandes uh, reminded me and sh showed me that uh, running uh, the repository uh, emission updater job on Trusted was sufficient to renew uh, these Maven settings uh, stored in uh, Jenkins CI plugins repository secrets. Okay. Same for the next one. Cool. So that was the week of the RPU failing. Nice. Yeah. And finally, you were. Um, I were able to fix the issue on the mirror yes. uh, export. Uh, okay, right. I used a better page and uh, the mirror stats one and the pro is now we have all mirrors uh, mm -hmm. not depending on the specific file present or not on any mirrors the cons is that we lost the continent information of each mirror but it's not the main information from this report so it's not that important Okay, so I see we have already a new version because the schema was changed, which is breaking change. That's nice. Um, okay, good. Any question on this task uh, that were fixed? So we have two issue closed as not planned, user opening an issue with no details. And
and when they are asked question, they never answer. But if they don't answer, uh, now work in progress. I'm going to try to. Uh, oh, what happened? I had an issue. Sorry. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try to sort by priority. So right now, the first top priority was Blob Fair and AZ Copy. Uh, Hervé, can you give us an update on what was done on that topic? Um, there was three main repositories using uh, BlobXFair, Jenkins.io, Plugin Site, and Javadoc. All of them has been uh, migrated to new storage accounts uh, from standard to premium and to version 1 to version 2. Uh, as most of them uh, at cost related to uh, transaction, uh, putting them uh, in premium uh, um, as a result to not pay any transaction. So we have a minimum of around $20 per month per storage account as a minimum cost, but we don't have the variable costs. Um, so far, the most costly one was Jenkins.io, which was at uh, seventeen dollar seventy dollar per month. The all of them has um, been migrated to this uh, new storage account and are using uh, uh, service principle to generate short-lived SIS token to interact uh, to synchronize the content to the Azure file storage, uh, Azure file share. And the big benefit here is the time for uploading files. Uh, the main, the, the reduction is uh, quite uh, big uh, for Javadoc. We went from uh, from 40 to minutes to one hour on uh, a quarter to uh, 11 to 14 minutes with AZ copy. And nice. The other builds were reduced. Uh, so faster build, less cost, and secure development and up to date uh, tooling. Nice. Yes. The next one are the mirror scripts uh, executed from the EKG uh, virtual machine. Um, I have, uh, it's related to the next one. Uh, so blocking point for us to add uh, as a, the Azure CLI on this machine. So we can use it to with the service mm -hmm. principle to generate a SS token. As soon as this uh, tool is uh, present uh, in the Puppet setup, I'll be able to rework uh, this existing script to use uh, uh, to generate a SS token instead of using uh, one uh, stored in a credential. Uh, team decision to stay. On the access key out system as Azure SP would add much overhead in this context. Okay. Yeah, the Azure service principle is for the updates. I think it's a deal. Indeed. Uh, so I should be able to finish this this week, I think. Um, okay. I've got the puppet part and the script parts will be shouldn't pose any issue. Okay. Um, uh, don't forget to announce it when you will change it in Jenkins and Fra. Just for the case if AZ copy changes metadata on the files or change the behavior. Um, of the copy that might have impacts on the update center. So just announce it. So if something goes wrong that is unforeseen, then uh, we will 
other person such as Daniel or, or Alex will know and they can go back to that change. Okay for you? Yes. Um, and don't forget we will have to clean up if it's not already done. Yes, there are many cleanups to do for the preview story raccoons. I also saw some others that haven't been updated since two years and we that we mm -hmm. might be able to remove. Yep, yep. Uh, be careful so... with stuff not used for two years. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> Last time Damien killed us. It wasn't two years, it was just a week. So, okay, yeah. Um... Yeah, so a big step of cleanups will be the last step of the cell desk. The next oh, yes. one with upgrades, update the Jenkins that I is ready to the next step of the previous one. Uh, I need a ZCLI to be able to finish the script is uh, uh, the pull request where we are testing our jobs on update.jenkins.io on trusted is already up to date with the code with the, to generate a SS token, but we don't have uh, as a, uh, as your key on this machine. Available on trusted agent and token used. Uh, AZ um, isn't on trusted agent. It's um uh no. Okay. That's my missing uh, piece. That would but be a result from it need to be installed on both agent dot trusted. And PKG VMs. See next steps above. Okay. So I assume once you will have everything working on one, that will unblock the other. Yes. Anything else on these tasks? Uh, on this one, no. Should be ready soon. As soon as the puppet part is ready. We will be able to ask uh, Jenkins security team to review some main pull requests. Nice. Good job. This one is uh, my fault. I forgot to renew uh, uh, SS token used in the Cryer jobs. Okay. And the Cloudflare R2 token. So. This weekend, I renew the SS token in Azure and replace the credential and trusted. But the R2 bucket part was failing. But uh, Azure synchronization was uh, restored. Okay. And this morning, we renewed the. I had an issue also on. Updating the token from Cloud for Cloudflare in our Terraform on our private repository Terraform states, uh, GPG error that we resolved uh, together this morning. Mm -hmm. so I was able to um, renew this this token and uh, update the credential. So uh, we have now to restore crawler. Um, to bucket synchronization parts that we commented this morning. Okay, I will let you do that task then. Um, in terms of priority, we moved some tasks for next week. So I'm going to finish with the task work in progress, but we have a on top priority RM64. Oh, what, what did I do? Um, Damien, I might have clicked the wrong. Okay, so IRM64 is on top priority. Do we have something more prior? No. I don't see. Turn on IRM64. Can you give us a quick status? 
Uh, yes, sometimes you go, you stop and, and then it's going fast. I'm not sure yeah, I'm the yeah, only one I'm... to have, but everyone got it. Okay. So that's okay. a, a connection good problem. Good <laughs> or, or very good XO. Um, yes, we, we, I'm fighting with uh, uh, one usage on Jenkins.io. I had an error with the usage of a, of a pod in ARM64. And um, Hervé pointed me that it might uh, come from the size of the pod. So as for another task, he created new pods as large IRM64. I tried to use it, but then that was a rabbit hole. And I found out that those large IRM64 were not able to spawn because we are missing a nut pool with those large uh, nodes. Uh, and then those nodes were not able to to be created because of the Kubernetes version that was a little too old. So we both tried to upgrade that patch version to 1.26.12 instead of 1.26.6. And then we, uh, we had kind of a nightmare because the the upgrade killed the connection through the agent. So the agent cannot uh, finish correctly and kept the lock on the Terraform uh, state. So um, we called emergency, which is Damien Duportal. And this morning we were able to uh, remove the lock and get back to work, but then by uh, discussing about that uh, uh, usage of a large agent, uh, we decide to try with a VM instead because the pipeline used on the CI Jenkins IO is uh, running on a VM and we plan to merge both pipelines. So I did change uh, my, my aim and uh, try a, a, a VM like an hour ago, and I'm not sure it went through, but um, it's on its way. Okay. Um, I I might be mistaken, but I remember both of you mentioned a second job. Was in, is it Akuntap or something that requires a bit more memory? So same context for Akuntap? It was Akuntap. Um... Uh, it was a pull request in progress since a few weeks already. And we discussed it together on this pull request that the agent was killed and uh, we might want it to compare the HDK 17 on CI.jackins.io resources to compare mm -hmm. them on, uh, uh, to Infra. In CI, uh, it was a, a full CPU 8 gigabyte of RAM versus on Infra CI, half a CPU on one gigabyte of RAM. So I oh. created uh, uh, two templ agent templates, Infra CI large and Infra CI large ARM64. And on does Infra it work? CI, it passed, my build passed, so. Okay. Uh, both of you might want to check uh, uh, that we are not on a word case. Uh, solution could be also using virtual machine. It's not, a... I will say it can be the same cost or even cheaper to use virtual machine than pods, but that's, that's a hard take that I'm making, uh, but that's a, sol a viable solution. Something else on the RAM64? Mm. Is it the is there another task or what what will be the next task? Um taking I, I got all the checkbox to check for okay. for that image. You can check on the on the issue if you want, but uh, there is a lot of work. Yes, okay, yeah. You have a plenty of uh, task list. Nice. Yes. Um, 
Next topic. Uh, someone in Romania was blocked from downloading. They were redirected uh, their plugins. They were redirected uh, to the Aachen University web server. There has been a discussion. I believe that issue might be closable. I don't know if we keep it for Stico mirrors or if we... That's a secondary anyway. topic. That's fine. Uh, yeah, okay. I will I will create a new issue, but the goal is just can we check that I ate the cloud was able to, to download uh, everything. I because, think so. Yeah, last week say yeah. Uh, be because they never answer to the last message from C Auto, so yeah. Yeah, I can ask them if... Cool. Worth my proposal is uh, we check if that problem is solved for I ate the cloud, then we can close the issue. And start a new issue, which name is a new mirror uh, for Ostico. Okay, so let me comment it. Let's confirm the user is now unblocked. Let's open a distinct issue about the new mirror. Provider survey. Do you want to share with us the new provider uh, status? Um, the, this uh, this person, uh, this uh, admin, uh, contacted us, and uh, he has. Um, he has to put in place uh, AirSync or FTP server on their mirror so we can integrate it with MirrorBit. For us to, to check in MirrorBit, almost there, but that's cool. That may be a new provider for the Eastern Europe. Oh, yeah, they offer to lock um, any country we want to push people to offer a new um, mirror for, for that country. Nice. Have you seen? <laughs> That's a good way to push people to offer mirroring. I mean, that's a way. That's a technique. <laughs> uh, um, we yeah. have a re... Sorry. Yeah, let, let's go on the order now. Uh, Yes. It's the third one in priority. Yes, I agree. Update CLI step fail regularly when processing Jenkins IO pull requests. And the title could be GitHub app, or GitHub action are failing because it's not only update key. It's every, oh, it's the label check, so the, every GitHub action are. Oh, I, it's not the only one I saw rate limited. Okay. Um, are we sure it's it's the GitHub action on Jenkins IO? Yes, I had the issue with the labeler one. I don't remember what he's doing, but that's really annoying. Label conflicting mm -hmm. pull request. It's workflow, yeah. Okay, so that means we might need to add the TDBEX solution then, if not already the case. That's yeah. weird. I... It's using its own. Yeah, that's why. So this is because the, yeah, yeah. The same, okay. That's why it was yep. failing too. So that could be worth an explanation first on the issue, just for the self-documentation. The uh, GitHub token here is the author of the pull request. So that means the API rate limit applies to the person who opened the pull requests. So there are multiple solutions. At least this one 
shouldn't use a day, uh, the GitHub token like this. It should uh, use the TIDBEX to use a GitHub app and then generate a new one hour valid that will renew the, um, uh, the rate limiting. Okay, so that one is to be checked. That's an annoying one. Okay. We'll have to find a proper solution on this one. So yeah, to be addressed. We can, yeah. We can create a GitHub application and set it to this repository and generate a Yeah, so we'll see later. Um, not that easy because that's a public repository. You will have a permission issue. The problem here is that we are not on Infra CI. So um, anyone opening a pull request the GitHub, uh, if that, that's not that easy. I don't think it's that easy. Because we don't want an external user running an update CLI command with the GitHub token of one of our GitHub app. That would be a great way to extract information. We can limit first contributors, but it won't prevent oh, yeah. people who had already contributed. I see what you want. Yeah. It's that we issue. we could check uh, TIDBEX now, but yeah, the problem here is because of the the emitting user. So yeah, that's an annoying one. Or we can move the update CLI process on Infra CI. What will be the danger? Uh, I'm I'm thinking uh, out loud, but on Docker Jenkins Weekly, we are also using a GitHub app to generate a token to create a pull request. No, only no, only on the let, make a, on the update plugins and let only the only on the main branch, which use Tidbex for that. Okay. I'm sorry to kill the game, but don't you think we should discuss that after? Yeah. Mm, yeah. Not true. Not an easy one. Next one uh, issue open by Alex, who uh, is asking to exclude um, some repository from the ACP. Why not? I'm still not sure. Depend on an artifact that's machine generated if a new version and therefore not available. Okay. I'm not sure to understand their problem, but no problem to remove that. That means it won't be cached, that's all. That's only for uh, one plugin, so that should be okay. Any objection? No. Ready, open the pair. Looks good. Okay, plugin ill scoring, configure new job on CI Jenkins IO. I discussed with uh, with him and um, instead of uh, it's uh, part of uh, using a statics file instead of uh, querying the API for the plugin site. So okay. uh, he created a pull request that emerged today that generate uh, a report with the content of the API, the same uh, call the plugin site is making. So now with in the plugin site, we'll, uh, we can uh, add some code to query this report instead of the API. So we don't have to have a plugin as scoring with availability or plugin oh, nice. site. Nice. Uh, uh, don't forget have... to add the references on the pull requests then. Yes, uh, uh, I have to discuss with him about this job since he opened the, this issue before we discuss the, okay. this report. So, yeah. Is it okay for I'll... you to drive the topic uh, since you yes. started it or do you? Okay. Yes, yes, no problem. Discussion in, that makes sense with Adria. is to decouple plugin site generation from plugin health. Static file, 
have better availability. Nice. Um, we still have free minor issue monitor builds on our private instances. So as I understand that one, you worked on it, Hervé. Can you give us a short summary? Um, I've got a report of every job of private instance, but so but it's using a token, uh, which we don't have a good way to manage their life cycle. So and the restrictions. So I don't know if this work will be usable at all. I have to exchange with Jenkins security about it. With Daniel, uh, Daniel uh, Beck, more specifically. The Jenkins user token used to pull information from each controller. Lifecycle, permissions on each Okay, thanks for this one. So I propose this one to be put on hold. Yes. Uh, put on hold until we get a security feedback. Uh, next one. So thanks I for adding. Yeah, I, I resolved uh, some, I'm... Uh, I updated some uh, branch protection on some repository when I mm -hmm. when I see them I to them, but I haven't uh, separate more pipelines this week. Okay, that's really low, low, low priority. And same for the other. I believe uh, something has been. I saw you open an issue. On yeah, I, I reported. Uh, I reported uh, two or three repository I've done before. I opened a request on the main okay. Jenkins Safra repo and Alex uh, made one on uh, there. Nice. Okay, so these last three will be put on hold or removed from milestone at least. Yes. Okay. Ah. Okay, okay. Now let's have a look at the new issues. Is there any question on the work done or being done? One, two, three, no, okay. So let's consider first uh, what we scheduled for the upcoming milestone. We have a few issues here as well. First upgrade to Kubernetes 1.27. So Stefan, you started to work again on it. What's the planning? Uh, planning is uh, AWS uh, first. So I did uh, uh, prepare the comment with all the checkboxes. But the first step is to um, redo the, the reading of the change log, but with AWS in head and not digital ocean. Um, and um, and yes, planning it on on uh, uh, Thursday, if you're okay mm -hmm. with that. Looks good. And next will be Asia. Yes, we we have a little uh, discrepancy right now as uh, we did upgrade the. Uh, the private K8S to uh, 126.12, while the public K8S is still in 126.6. So this may give us uh, problems. We may have to upgrade to uh, the same patch version. That should be OK, unless we have a problem. Worth, uh, worth mentioning it. That means we have two weeks to wait for uh, before uh, before having everything on the same page. So no worries on this one, that should be okay. 
Okay, I'm switching these to the milestone. Okay, and the next milestone there, we have a lot of issues. Uh, <clears throat> past release sites are taking long time to load. I propose that we move that one on hold. We put that on hold because it requires not that much of work, but still some work. Uh, let's remove milestone from this one. Uh, we have the migration leftover from publicates to RM64. I won't have that much time to work on this one, I believe. So I'm going to move this one uh, to uh, an, another milestone for later. Same intermittent out of memory. We don't have the bandwidth for this one. Uh, same for this one. I won't have the time to spend on this. It's not blocking. Same for the open VPN, clean up, removing the central cache. This one must be moved somewhere else. That one is important. And that one is top priority as the same as update center. And I don't know for Docs Jenkins, are you, were you able to, to spend no, some time on uh, it? No, I was in the block fix issue, so. For the next, uh, yeah. Okay, Let's so blub. Keep it, uh, but in low, in the bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Update. I'm trying to to add the proper uh, <clears throat> priority. Uh, unexpected delay is building a small plugin on Linux agents. So for that one, that was it looks like it was due to DigitalOcean. We should re-enable DigitalOcean on CI Jenkins IO to see what is happening. Do you think you will be able to try it at least, or? or... Uh, we have to re-enable DigitalOcean and run a job. So yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so I'm letting it here. Uh, that one is low priority, as you say. That one is to be treated, update CLI. I think we have the right order of priority. A uh, reminder, the new private Kubernetes cluster, the goal is uh, to have the build agent from infra CI to be built on a new cluster that will be that will run on the Azure sponsored subscription. For instance, the, the RM64 not pool you, you trifled with, uh, should be on that new cluster. So you we will have separated cluster between controllers and agents. Is, is, that, is it clear for everyone? Yes. Um, but that one is not that important compared to the AWS uh, cluster from CloudBees AWS. That one will allow us to create the one or two new EKS cluster. The question was, should we upgrade 1.27 for these clusters? Uh, I propose that we don't try to couple them. That one requires setting up the, the account, checking the credits are present, um, preparing the work on the, uh, on the Terraform project to see how can we use multiple AWS accounts on the same Terraform project, so resources could be spread between in both. That would also be the opportunity for us to upgrade to the new EKS module. I was planning to start spend, spending a bit of time on this one this week. Is, is the goal clear? Is there any question or objection? Okay, cool. So now we can really realistically start looking at the triaged issue. So artifact proxy does not deliver incremental jars. That's weird. So that needs to be analyzed. Is that correct, Hervé? Yes. That's a legit issue. We have cannot login success. So that need to be checked uh, inside account app to see what the result is. So I'm adding it to the milestone. 
uh, they didn't receive any email. So worth looking at the logs of Accountab, see if, if their account exists, etc. Most probably they are mixing up Accountab and the, their own Jenkins. So proposal from Basil. <clears throat> uh stop uh stop excluding the maven central repository on acp that will uh, increase the storage and a bit that will increase a bit the the workload but that will help to uh, achieving uh, faster builds so that will be removing the exception on, on the settings xml and see what is happening the risk is that if we forgot why, there might be a reason or word thing. We might have to uh, roll back that change. I don't mind taking care of this, but once I will be off again, you will have to be aware of uh, of uh, what will be the condition to roll back it. Is that okay for you folks? Okay. Um. There is a repository to archive. So I've already, uh, I'm taking care of this one so we can remove the triage. Uh, there is a discussion between Jesse and Basil regarding lib support log formatter. Okay, we'll need to let them decide, but that's not triage. And finally, evaluate clean owner. It's a new functionality from GitHub, uh, global GitHub action that uh, does a weekly cleanup of code owners and remove uh, old members, uh, create a pull request uh, to remove all members on, uh, in code owners. Interesting. Yes. Okay, worth uh, checking with team since he's the admin. We can try uh, uh, even on the Jenkins in five if needed. Yes. Okay. I think we have covered all the new issues. Yes. Oh, yep. I thought I removed the dry edge has been removed okay do you have other topics to check for the milestone stuff no. do you have other topics you want to mention okay is the prior set of priorities that okay for you i will have one last look okay so the last uh, good news is that uh, we spent 4.4k last month on Azure, which is way above the expected threshold. So congratulations to everyone. And we continue decreasing because uh, I haven't checked in detail the work from Hervé, but I totally believe that we will gain a few uh, a few dollars for each of the premium account storage that replace their quantum parts without the transaction costs. So yes, nice work. So I'm going to be there in two weeks. See you next week for the people who won't be in holidays. Let me stop sharing my screen and stop recording. Bye-bye.